Good morning again, Mountain Christian Church. Let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8 again. Deuteronomy 8 is where Moses is speaking to the people just as they're about to go into the promised land. And the Lord is telling them about the things that he has been teaching them, what he has done during their 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. We looked at this last week, and we mentioned that there were three things specifically in this passage, Deuteronomy 8, that that God told the people that he was doing. The Lord let them hunger. We talked about that last week. The Lord also humbled them, and the Lord was preparing them. Um, Pick up with me in 8.2 of Deuteronomy. Uh, Moses says to the people, And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. And he humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. I want to focus on the humbling today, because if this is a wilderness experience for us, maybe we are isolated and and separated from one another. Maybe we've been um, evicted from our lives and our, our regular patterns and things are totally different now. In different ways, this is a wilderness experience for us. And let's just see how God uses it. He humbled the nation of Israel. It says in verse two, um, in, in ways that that revealed their hearts to themselves and revealed their hearts to, to God and to anybody else who might be looking on. It says in verse two, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart. I wonder if this season is one for you where you find um, your heart is being revealed in new ways. I know that mine has been. Um, I know that my impatience has been on display in this season. I know that uh, my desire to be in control has definitely been on display in this season. And, uh, and, and though those are things I already knew about myself, they aren't, they're entirely new. They've been revealed in new ways. And, and I'm, I'm thankful to God for that because it has actually helped me see the foothold that I allow sin to have. And, and I don't want that. And it's created in me also um, new desires to address those things. I'm also rejoicing because at the same time, there's things in my heart that have been revealed that are there because God in his mercy has created desires, has given me affections for him, that even though things don't always work the way my my normal routine would, that there are desires placed there by God that that make me want to know him and want to seek him. Um, So the revealing of our hearts is certainly not all bad. It often is going to demonstrate our shortcomings, but it is one of the ways that he humbles us. In this season, is your heart being revealed? It should be. Um, Receive that and let it humble you. The second way that God humbled them in the wilderness is found in verse 3. This is back to the hunger. He humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know. I think we should just notice here that God provided for them in ways that were totally new. The Lord wanted to reveal things about Um, who he was. That were the same things that they already knew. He's a provider. He's faithful. He wouldn't abandon his people. But he's revealing those same things about himself in in very new ways. He's um, having them go out, gather manna at the right time of day, in the right proportion, on the right days of the week. And this is something that was utterly new. I wonder if the Lord wants to use this wilderness experience to teach to teach you new things and to teach me new things about himself. Not that his character has changed, but in fact that it is the same, but that he is showing himself in new ways. I've seen God provide opportunities for me to trust him in in the last couple weeks in new ways. I've seen him reveal himself. Um, God is continuing to humble us and show us that we have to trust him and that we don't always know what he's doing. This is a joy. This is a pleasure, brothers and sisters. May this wilderness season be one where your heart and my heart is humbled and and our hearts are revealed to us in new ways. Our hearts are revealed to us and the Lord reveals himself in new ways and causes us to trust him. I pray you'd be blessed as you consider those things and you take them to the Lord in prayer. God bless you and have a great day.